Hey everybody, I've been carrying this little Caltech PF9 for a couple months now, and uh, I haven't shot it in about probably about two months. So I'm gonna put 50 more through it. I hate uh, packing a gun that I ain't shot in a while. What we got here, I've got uh, about 20 of these little aluminum case blazers. I've got 20 of the regular Winchester white box, and I've got 10 of the Remington hollow points. This is what I usually carry in it, so uh, we're going to test those out. Kind of got an assortment. They're all 115 grain. I'm not going to put none of that RSW or RWS through it today. I'm just going to try to use up what I've got here first before I get into that other stuff. But anyway, let me get it loaded up and uh, get the camera turned around and we'll do some shooting. Alright guys, I got loaded up with some of that aluminum, uh, aluminum case blazer ammo. I don't think I've ever shot any of that out of this little Caltech yet. It's a aluminum case blazer, so I've got seven in it, got my ears on. Let's go for the one on the left. First seven. All right, we got seven more. I'm gonna put put these in the same target because it's the same ammo. <clears throat> it's just that aluminum case stuff again. So here we go. Target on the left. Ooh, that was a little low. Seven more. I got the last six loaded up, same target. All right, next is gonna be the Winchester white box. Hang on one second. Winchester white box going for the center paper plate, center target. Alright guys, I got that camera turned around so you can see the gun firing. It gets boring watching those paper plates, I know. Let's try this. Oh, this is the last six of the Winchester white box. That's it. I had one low that time. Let's turn it back around here. Remember the one on the left is the blazer aluminum. The one in the center is the Winchester white box. And I've saved that last one for the Remington hollow points that I carry in it. So hang on one second. Now I'm only shooting 10 of these because they're a little bit more expensive than that uh, Winchester white box or that blazer was. So I've got seven loaded. So here we go. Seven. I'm going to go ahead and load the last three. Here we go. Hang on. I hope I can shoot this through the somehow or another. <laughs> I'm using the viewfinder, guys, so give me a break. It wasn't too bad. All right, guys, that's 50 more shots with the Caltech PF9. 
<coughs> as you can see, not bad groupings. There's 20 in that one, 20 in that one, and 10 in that one. I was fairly close. I was only about one, two, three, about maybe six yards. That's pretty good uh, combat uh, distance, though. If you get in trouble with somebody or whatever, somebody's giving you trouble, you probably shouldn't shoot at them if they're <laughs> any farther away. But anyway, as far as the little Keltec PF9 goes, I still give it a definitely A+. plus. That's about 250 rounds through it. And uh, like I said, I've been carrying it for a couple months, so it's it's dirty. It's got lint in it and everything else, so I need to take it in there and clean it up and give it a good bath. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, you guys that's having problems with yours, I've been getting a couple little uh, PMs and some uh, questions about the extractor. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, but the uh, only thing I know to do maybe is contact, contact Caltech, and uh, maybe they can take care of it for you. I've been lucky so far, I guess, with this one. 250 rounds through it. Flawless. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, see you around. Bye.